Hello and welcome to one more tutorial of Tech Hack. These days a lot of people want to learn whiteboard animation to create compelling stories. I am creating a series of tutorials to cover details of VideoScribe, one of the most popular and easy to use whiteboard animation software. This is an introduction tutorial and we will cover details that will help anyone become an expert on whiteboard animation. Good thing is, no previous experience or skill sets are required to learn this tool. So let's get started with our first part. So what is VideoScribe? VideoScribe is a software for creating whiteboard animation automatically. It was launched in 2012 by UK company Sparkle. By April 2014, it had more than 250k users in 135 countries around the world. You can download VideoScribe as desktop app for both Windows and Mac. Download link will be posted in the description section of this video. So let's get started. So let's move to VideoScribe to explore all the possibilities. Once you're logged in, you should see a window similar to this. In VideoScribe, you can create presentation based on chronological order and VideoScribe will convert it into a video. These presentations are called Scribe in VideoScribe world. At the top, you will find all the previous scribes. To create a new one, click on the plus sign. At the right bottom, you have two buttons. One to import your old scribe from your computer and other is the setting button. Setting includes all the defaults for your video. First one is auto save timing. Uh, for us, the default is 3 minutes. You can increase or decrease by these plus and minus signs. Uh, you can also click at the center and enter a value that is desired. The next one is default transition time. It is the amount of time that VideoScribe takes to transition from one image to the other. Uh, for us, it is default 2.5 seconds. The next one is default pause time. It is the amount of time that VideoScribe will pause at a particular image after drawing it. The next one is default draw time, which is 5 seconds. This is the default time that VideoScribe takes to trace a particular image using the strokes that the image has. The next one is default image quality. 2000 pixels work great for us. You can choose whatever you're liking. So let's create our first scribe by clicking on this plus sign. At first you will see a big white empty space. This is called canvas. Uh, this is where all the images and text and all the scribes will go in. At the bottom there is a timeline. This is the chronological order in which the images will be placed and video scribe will draw them. Moving to the top, the first button is save button. You can give the name of the scribe here. You can definitely save your scribe on your computer uh, by clicking on this button. You can also save or export your scribes to Sparkle Cloud Space. You can also save them as PDF document. Personally, I have never used this PDF document feature. Next one is add an image to the canvas. Basically, you can add any image from the video scribe library. These are the recently used images. You can also click this button to browse the base library of VideoScribe for all the images. Other than that, you can also search from the search dialog box. Next one is add a text to the canvas. You can write your message in this message dialog box. Uh, you can choose your font by clicking this plus and minus button. Also, you can choose your color, color of the text from here. Then comes add a chart to the canvas. Basically, you can add pie chart, bar graph or line graph to your canvas. Uh, I have never used this, so I don't know much. Then comes the music track or audio files that you can add to VideoScribe that can play in background. Uh, there are a lot of files in the VideoScribe library. You can sort them by name, you can sort them by duration. Also, you can sort them how calm and heavy these are. Uh, the ones with single dot are soft, whereas the ones uh, which have multiple dots or three dots uh, will be heavy. You can also play these audio files in a loop or if you do not check this uh, radio button, they will play for the designated amount of time. The next button is to add voiceover or narration to your videos. Uh, you can do that by directly recording from this recording tool or you can use a third party software like Audacity. I generally prefer the second method as I want to have a pre-recorded narration before I start my scribe. The next one is change the paper texture or color. You can change the texture of the canvas and also the color of the canvas. Generally, if you do not select it, the default is white 
canvas as you can see here then comes the hand tool basically you can choose your pen or brush or type of hand you want to use there are different pens here different types of pen that you can use there are different hands uh, of different people that you can use moving to the far right in the top there is a preview button this is used to see preview of your video the next button is publish or render your scribe basically video scribe will convert your scribes into videos that you can save on your computer or you can directly render them to youtube as well so let's get started and create our first scribe so for that we will click on the add an image to canvas button we will search for a backdrop or a background image that we want to use let's choose this one you can increase or decrease the size of the image as per your liking so let's increase the size at this point of time let's click on the preview button to see what video scribe does as you can see it video scribe is tracing the image and drawing it and ultimately it zooms out now let's add another image let's search for animal let's choose this monkey here let's move it to the right and decrease the size slightly let's add another image this time i will choose from the recently used images let's pick up this dragon decrease the size a little bit and place it here and let's now see how the preview goes we describe this creating the trace now it is now drawing the monkey and note that the focus has moved to the monkey and now the focus has shifted to the dragon and ultimately it has zoomed to the whole image you can change the focus of the camera using set camera feature so let's see how it is click on the first image and you will notice there is this button uh, called set camera if you click this whatever image you are seeing right now will be the focus of the image for the monkey let's click on the set camera but for the dragon let's click on the dragon let's zoom in a little bit and let's set the focus here let us now again see the preview how it looks like so it is drawing the tree right now notice that while it is drawing the monkey the focus haven't changed it is still showing the full image and for the dragon we have zoomed in a little bit so that's how you can actually set the focus of your sprite you can change from different image to image and you can move around next thing we'll do is to use these arrow keys to move on the canvas so let's click on this you can notice that the sprite is moving or we are moving over the canvas Let's add another image. Again, let's search for animal. Let's take this cat. Let me increase the size of the image. You will notice that we have a default draw time. For all the images, actually, you have a default draw time of five seconds that we set in the default setting initially. You can increase or decrease each of these for instance i want the cat to be drawn quickly and dragon to be drawn in 6.5 seconds let's say for the cat let me set the camera here now one more thing i want to tell you is there is a preview play button for each image this preview play button is different from the one that is on the top this preview play button on the top will play this cry from the beginning whereas this play button will play it from this particular image and so let's start and play the scribe from the dragon notice the focus here is on the dragon and now it will slowly transition to the cat and ultimately it shows you the entire image if you do not want video scribe to zoom out of the image entirely at the end of the scribe you can also do that there is an option so let's say we are drawing from the cat 
Untick this zoom at the end button. So you will notice that video scribe has finished and it has stopped this right here at the cat itself. That's how you move from one image to the other. You make a transition. You can set the camera. You can set the focus to a particular image or you can change it with how video scribe should end it. So that's brief intro about video scribe. At this point of time, I would like to stop here. In the next tutorial or the part two of this tutorial, we will talk in more detail about timeline. So that's all for today. I hope you like this video. Please do like, share and comment and do subscribe. Thank you.